As soon as I heard Baltimore, that's the first thing that came to my mind, blocking for Lamar Jackson. Team keep it clean, the Baltimore Ravens in the second round. They have selected offensive lineman Roger Rosengarten, and those were his words after he got picked. We about to talk about what he can possibly bring to the table and what this pick really means for the Baltimore's right here, right now, but also for the future. Before we do... Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications on so you do not miss not a single draft pick, not a single update, not a single anything, and leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot, and it keeps you informed about when we drop new videos. So, Roger, welcome. Welcome to Rose and Garden family to the Baltimore Ravens. We happy to have you. EDC said, Ravens fans, I've been keeping my ears to the streets. I know y'all want offensive line. I want offensive line, too. We need it. Badly, because this offseason, we lost a lot of guys on the offensive line. We lost three-fifths of our offensive line because, remember, Morgan Moses traded to the Jets. John Simpson signed with the Jets. Kevin Zeitler signed with the Lions. So, And they were all starters. They were all quality starters. But now um, we're just left with Ronnie Stanley and Tyler Linderbaum, who are both definitely quality starters. Certainly Tyler Linderbaum especially, but Ronnie Stanley, when he's healthy, he's definitely one of them too. But what are we going to do on the offensive line? What are we going to do at the other tackle position? What are we going to do at the tackle position for now, but in the future as well? Well, this is where Raj steps in. Oh, God, Raj. Again, welcome to the squad. Now, the first thing that stuck out about me, because what I did, I looked up, how many sacks he allowed? How many sacks did he allow? <laughs> it's the first thing that popped up. It said, an offensive tackle at Washington, Rosengarten didn't allow any sacks in his 1,158 pass blocking snaps for the Huskies. I said, yeah, that's, that's my kind of guy. Really doing everything, each and everything he can to protect this quarterback. Oh, I love it. And they said he also ran the fastest uh, 40 time for somebody over 300 pounds at this year's draft. So he ready to move. I mean, he was blocking for uh, MP Jr. So now he'll be blocking for somebody who's on a whole nother level of athleticism at the quarterback position, that being one Lamar Jackson. Now, with Michael Penix Jr., he is left-handed. So what Roger did to protect Michael Penix uh, Jr., his blind side, he switched over. He switched over to the right side to protect his blind side. So what that lets us know a couple of things about him off rip. One, hey, he's a team player. He's willing to do whatever to protect his quarterback. He don't want nobody touching his quarterback, nobody messing with his quarterback, nobody bothering his quarterback. But that also lets us know that he can play both right tackle, great, awesome, amazing, looking forward to it, but also left tackle. And I don't know if y'all remember when we said this, we talked about how with the Baltimore Ravens, I would hope, it wouldn't be a guarantee, but I would hope that when they do select an offensive lineman, specifically a tackle, it can be somebody that can play both sides and play both sides. Excuse me, both play both sides well. And the reason that I said that was because we do need a right tackle right here, right now. We, we, we need one. But next year we're going to need a left tackle because Ronnie Stanley's on the last year of his contract. See, with these moves, man, these moves so far, Nate Wiggins, future replacement, and I know some people don't want to hear this. Some people do want to hear, but future replacement for Marlon Humphrey. Eventually, not this year, Next year, two years, but anyway, future replacement for Marlon Humphrey. Rosengarten, possible future replacement for Ronnie Stanley. It's very important um, because something else that's very important too um, that I thought was very significant, I felt like the Baltimore Ravens, they could not uh, take a project at second round pick at, off on, in, in offense, at the offensive line position, excuse me whether it be tackle, whether it be guard, whether it be whoever, they, they could not take a project. They could not take somebody who's coming along, who's getting there slowly. And it ain't no offense to anybody who's doing that because I'm sure they can still play in the NFL. But you want somebody that's ready right here, right now. This right here from Jeff Zrebic. 
A two-year starter for the Huskies. Rosengarten played right tackle the past two years, protecting the blind side of left-handed quarterback Michael Penix Jr. Wrote, this, this is the part right here. Rosengarten started all 28 games the past two seasons. So he's been out there in the lineup consistently, protecting his quarterback consistently, not giving up sex consistently. And I love that. I love that. And it's important that you have somebody. Now, and something else that we talked about, like, look, everything that we talked about that we wanted with an offensive lineman and what we feel like the Ravens offensive lineman needs to be more of, it seems like it's happening right now. So far it is. We know Ronnie Stanley, he got, when he's healthy, he got it. And he can be very athletic. With Linda Flender, that boy is strong and athletic. He'd be moving. He'd push somebody right on that behind. But we talked about how we felt like the Baltimore Ravens offensive line, they need to get even more athletic up front. They uh, signed Josh Jones from the Texans. He's another one. Uh, but now with Rosengarten, again, he was just blocking for Michael Penix Jr. So when him blocking was for somebody like that, he already knows that he got to move around a little bit more. He got to do some things just a little bit differently because Lamar Jackson certainly ain't no statue. So if you're going to be protecting him, oh, excuse me, excuse me, when you're going to be protecting him, you got to do a phenomenal job and you got to be able to move your feet. And again, we talked about the 40 time, him being the, fat, the fastest offensive line or the fastest over 300 pounds player. Uh, he ran the fastest 40 for that. That's, that's a beautiful thing. So I love it. I love it. Now, this was another good little nugget. Shout out to Jeff Zrebig again. Um, he said, Rosengarten met with the Ravens at the NFL Scouting Combine. 17 minutes are allotted for the meeting. So you got 17 minutes to talk to these players at the Combine. That's a very weird number, but that's what it is. Very specific. Anyway, so it says, Rosengarten said the Ravens halted the meeting at 10 minutes. So they stopped it. They said, oh, we're done. But was it a bad stop or a good stop? Because usually if a meeting stops so abruptly... That may not be a good thing, but it says uh, that John Harbaugh said that Rosengarten checked all the boxes, and he had a feeling that Ravens could draft him after that. So there you go. Now that whole part about oh, he had a feeling Ravens could draft him after that. I feel like I feel like <laughs> I feel like teams be saying that about every pick, every every pick that they draft, every player that they draft. I feel like they always be saying that. Oh, we felt like he would be available. Oh, we feel like we might be able to take him. We feel like he might fall to us. But anyway. Um, the fact that they stopped the meeting, they stopped it with seven minutes left. That's a lot of time. That's a little, uh, yeah, that's a little, little less than half, but still a significant amount of time. But they say, you know what? No, no, no. We're done here. We don't need to hear, see, talk about anymore. You're good. So that's basically like if you go to a job interview and you're going talking back and forth with the employer, with the company. And, hey, oh, so where do you see yourself in five years with the company? Oh, what are your dreams? What are your aspirations? What made you want to choose this place of employment? And you answering all the questions and whatnot, then they just tell you, stop. You might be like, oh, what, did, did, did I say something wrong? What, what did I do? I, is, is something wrong with my resume? Did, did you do, what's going on? And I say, no, 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 no. You're good. You're hired. That's exactly what's happening here with Rosengarten. And he is literally being hired to the Baltimore Ravens. He is known for being physical, very physical. But I mean, he is an offensive lineman, so that's expected. But adding a little extra physicality can never hurt. Um, so this is the start. This is certainly the start for the Baltimore Ravens uh, with the offensive line. It was expected that they would draft offensive line uh, at some point, somehow. Um, yesterday in the first round, uh, a lot of offensive linemen started coming off the board. And the Baltimore Ravens at 30, they were like, uh, everybody who's available, first round pick, no, we don't need to. We'll wait. And it looks like their waiting could end up paying off. So shout out to the Rosengarden family. Again, welcome aboard. Happy, very, very happy to have you. Raj, enjoy protecting Lamar Jackson. We're looking forward to you being one of his bodyguards team keep it clean make sure you subscribe to the channel turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single update not a single draft pick not a single video not a single anything here on team keep it clean and last but certainly not least make sure you leave a like on the video because of two important things it helps out the channel a ton and it allow youtube to continue to recommend our videos to you when they are out i love y'all i appreciate y'all i'll see you soon